Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's me again, a child making videos. Ooh, lighting is still horrible. Um, I still haven't asked for that good camera, so I still have this cute little webcam um, that you guys are staring at me through quite intensely. Um, the my it's like really bright outside, so I close it. But if I close it too much, it gets too dark, and then it like <coughs> like all across the screen. So I have my phone's uh, torch like here, and even with that closed, it's still too dark, and I'm like. Um, so I think this is seriously the best lighting I can get. <laughs> it's really bad. What is that, like, reflectant, like, reflective thing in my TV? Oh, it's my wall! My wall's being lit up by the sun for another window, um, in the hallway. So yeah, I'm going to London! As the little title says, the road trip, so sort of anyway so yes i am sort of going on a road trip a three hour trip down south of england wow i made this trip many times before um it's to go visit my nan and granddad um on my mother's side that live down there and actually all of my family on them on my mother's side lives down there because my mother moved up here to live with my father so quite cool quite cool um i may have got that wrong i'm not exactly very good on my history it's been quite a nice day today um it's 19 degrees celsius and mostly sunny um where i am According to my cute little uh, weather alert thing. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really nice day today. Um, it's been really nice, bright, sunny. Got the guinea pigs out for a bit of a run around and tweet some grass. Um, they're in their hutches. Um, I have to keep an eye on one of our boys, Kirk. He's very crafty. He's worked his way out of cages and into others time, a couple times. Um, for example, one time he managed to unlock the door on his cage, get out, and then circle the girl's cage. And he probably could have found a way to get in there too um, if I didn't catch him um, in the act. Another time... He scaled the side of his cage to get into Q's cage. Wow. Like, he properly was like a little ninja. He was like walking <coughs> a little tightrope of plastic edge to get to Q's cage. Um, uh, two times, yeah, two times. Um, so I had to, with like my safety at hand i had to reach in there with the fighting boys and try pull whatever one i could grab um i've been bit before i know going off track uh so london um i'm also going to so actually i'm going right to the bottom of the country i think it's essex um yeah it's like I have no idea, I've completely forgot. I think I think it's there, yeah. Around there anyway. Um so like below London definitely. Uh and so in, I mean I've done this trip many times um in my life. I mean I haven't been able to actually see um my nan and granddad on my mum's side for a really long time. Much longer for my dad's side. Um like a really really long time uh obviously lockdown covid has really put it off um and it's really quite sad to be honest that i haven't seen him in such a long time because 
you know, they're both really nice and it's nice to see them and I think they're happy to see me. So, it's a nice place to be. Now, my nan makes the, like, best beds. I understand that sounds weird, like, I mean, she doesn't make beds, like, bed frames and mattresses. But, she like, when she makes the bed, you know, like, make it look all nice and neat, she, like, perfectly does it. It is... I don't know how she does it, but it is so nice and warm and comfortable. It might be how, like, the edge of the covers are kind of tucked in under the mattress. So it's kind of like it's pushing down on me and I guess it kind of makes me feel comfy. Um, maybe it's just, you know, uh, like maybe some sort of washing powder she may use on the stuff which may make it feel so nice um or maybe it's just the duvet she brought it's so comfortable um but i know it's definitely also how she tucks it in into the mattress and it's just so neat and that's like like a very nice thing to be going there because usually I find it really hard to sleep in another in like another bed um other than my own I'm very used to sleeping in my own bed which is over here um I'm at, it's actually right next to me over there um it's kind of got a load of stuff on it actually not a load compared to sometimes it's got a guinea pig hide which I call the carrot um it's basically a carrot themed hide for rabbits, but we use it for the guinea pigs. I mean, it's quite small. Um, goodness me, I have like dark bags under my eyes, don't I? Jeez. Um, I am like really tired, to be honest, at the moment. Um, I also have a load of stationery, which I literally just emptied out of my school blazer so I could go get washed, and a bucket of sand. Really random. I know I live nowhere near a beach, but it's basically colour moving sand that my mother got me a long time ago. I've been experimenting with it. Um, I made this of it. It should, after I wait, should turn into a sort of slime. Um, and I put it in water for some reason because, like, why not? Um, anyway, so. I love going down there. I love seeing Nan and Grandad and possibly other parts of my family, like uncles, stuff like that, may pop by, say hello, because we barely get to see them. But this visit is special, really special, because not only is it like half a week long, so like three, four days, yeah, like 4.5 days. Um, I'm going to London for the first time and we're having a family gathering. Now, on the family gathering, which is happening near the end of the visit, um, the last one we had that was like ages ago and basically we filled like an entire stadium stand, which was like, I think the only stadium stand in this entire little kind of football court. Um, and there are so many of us. Like, a thing that I didn't know is that all of my cousins are actually adults. I'm the youngest of them. Um, they're all adults, which, to be honest, is kind of sad because I would like to have a better relationship with my cousins. And they're all nice, yeah, but it's because they're adults and I'm a child that I think really sets us apart. I mean, I'm them much more mature than me. They're much more bigger than me, you know. And I, I, I don't dislike them for that. I'm not like jealous, because um, for some reason I feel like I sound that. Um, you know, I'm happy for them. You know, they have lives. They have children of their own. So I have second cousins, which are like, I think some of them are nearly my age, which I think is kind of weird I mean it's, it's not weird but it's kind of odd isn't it like I like should really be all like an adult 
I, I sound like I'm babbling now, aren't I? I mean, it, it's really kind of weird that my second cousins are my age. I'm not... I don't know. Conclusion. I wish I had a better relationship with my cousins, and I find it weird that my second cousins are my age. Uh, next. So, this family gathering is actually, like, one of the families. Like, I think 60th, maybe 90th? Um, sorry. Uh, birthday. So, not all of them may attend, which is kind of sad. Not all of them did attend um, for the stadium one. But I wish to do, I wish to actually end up seeing a, um, a lot of my cousins. Um, and second cousins, as well as uncles, aunts. Um, and probably a load of other family that I've never seen before. Though I think basically all of them were at the family stadium gathering because obviously like that was in um, no it's Sussex right not Essex did I say Essex Haywood's Heath there you go Haywood's Heath that's the area So, I hope to see a lot of my cousins, and I hope it'll be fun. So apparently we're all going to get together, eat, I'm not sure if there'll be a DJ, um, have food, have some fun, uh, meet some family, which is a big experience for me. Something that I've... I, I'm not sure if I remember it too much, but I think it got on my nerves at the original stadium family gathering that I remember, is that they had a huge family tree, but I don't think I was on there. <laughs> and to be honest, while I kind of hid it, I think I was like, in my mind, I was very kind of angered by it. Like, why aren't I on there? I guess I was just a bit jealous, um, not sure. Just a just a bit angry that my name wasn't under my mom's and dad's, um, and next to my brother's. Like my brother was on there, so where's my name? <laughs> I don't mind really. Um, to be honest, I probably won't see that again um, for a long time, really. Uh, so okay. <laughs> London. I have never, ever been to London before. Ever. That's quite a big thing for me. Because I, I've never exactly said to mum and dad that I want to go to London. Though my brother has promised like a lot of times, because he lives there as a, and he works as a doctor and a part, like he lives in cool apartment um and works as a not a doctor a nurse um and he said a couple times that he would organize to take me there in fact um i think he was supposed he, met, he was probably going to take me like this week so really i should be in london for a week um now, to be honest, my brother has said a lot of things they didn't end up doing. For example, he said he'd take me to aerospace, where we'd jump on trampolines. I think it was aerospace. But, yeah, I don't mind, really. Um, I mean, it would have been fun to go out with him a bit, though. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. Um, also, Willow's gone, my dog. Um, I, I'm making it sound like she died. But, um, like, saying gone? Well, I guess that doesn't mean always um, that she died. But, like, she... My brother took her away, basically. Um, I really didn't like the idea. But, um... Let's just say that my brother's uh, girlfriend wasn't very happy at the time. And, um... Because Willow was down London before as a sort of holiday for her. 
um, because she is Samuel's dog, my brother. Um, uh, So she has gone down to London before, but she went down there again. Also, I just used my foot foot to grab a pencil off the floor and throw it onto my bed because it fell off off the equipment. I'm getting a headache. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm... there's like a huge light coming into my eye and it's giving me a headache. Um, so I'm kind of sad that Willow's gone. I really didn't want it to happen. Um, though it was nice to see Samuel and Kim. Um, <sighs> London. So basically, I've never been to London. I've never seen the tube, I've never seen Big Ben, I've never seen, I mean obviously I've seen them on pictures of course, but I've never been to the tube, Big Ben, um, the, uh, I was going to say the Golden Gate Bridge, the uh, Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace, never seen it before, other than in pictures, or imaginary constructs from writings in my mind, like, never seen it before never even been in london before that i know of or i remember um really because my parents don't like the place and to be honest it seems like quite a chaotic place uh, to live and a really expensive place to live as well like a really expensive place which now i'm always happy when we're going somewhere really like it's kind of out of Wolverhampton um, because like I don't leave Wolverhampton very much I mean I've been like I've gone to Telford I've gone to Birmingham but really other than Telford and Birmingham like it's even rarer that I go anywhere other than Telford Birmingham Staffordshire like places just like that's just around Wolverhampton like it's super rare that I go there. So yeah, so um, my mum said that we would look at the tube. Um, okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning bit. So Wednesday next week, so uh, after Easter, while I'm still on holiday, we'll go down in the late afternoon. We'll get there after the three hour drive just be my mom and me because my dad's working at the weeks to actually bring an income because um during covid you may know um obviously self-employed people couldn't really make a living really especially djs when people couldn't really party except boris um so um, my parents, their only jobs being DJs, um, profession, professional, professional, professional photography, which they do in the discos, um, it's kind of a added, I keep, I'm spinning my chair, I keep hitting my foot, which is kind of on my lap, or on my other leg, against the damn table, I'm gonna put my leg down now, so, So I just thought that was a that was Kirk out. It's not it's just a Kess. Um who's also brown like Kirk. He has brown fur, beautiful brown fur. And Kess is well really the exact same. Lighter brown fur, but the exact same. And she's Kess is an absolute chunk of a pig, an absolute unit she is. She's given to birth. She's given birth to like seven babies in like two different litters. So I won't blame her really. Um, so yeah, Wednesday we go down there. We spend the night at Nan and Grandad's. We then in the morning catch a train all the way to London. We then take the tube and we like. We go to the science museum, I believe. We basically, spend the entire day there um, at the science museum. We go a couple other places. 
um, and then we actually catch a bus. Um, so we actually kind of catch a little bus, so we go like, <laughs> and the bus is like, meow, I'm a bus. It's like, okay. And ta-da, we're on a tour bus. We have a look at a load of stuff, which I'm really excited about. Like, I've never seen these huge famous things that people are like, oh my God, you should look at these cool things. Really? Yeah, you should look at these cool things. Like, Big Ben and them. That bridge. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. You can find a lot of cool places there, except it's really expensive. Really? So, yeah, you get the point. Um, so, we have a look at loads of cool places. We have some fun eating some food, maybe. I mean, obviously, we need lunch, right? Right? I, I guess I could pack some Mentos. I actually don't have any at the moment. I, I, I ate my last Mento today. You said another mento. Yo, that's another mento. Yo, there's another mento on the ground. Yeah, I'm saving that. Um, I'm definitely going to eat it too. It's a flipping mento. It's on the ground. Because I dropped my little mento jar on the floor. They went everywhere. I thought there was only one left. And I saw it. So I ate it. But obviously there's another one. I have to crack. I have to like. I was going to say crack my back. Because I'm not going to do that. Just like in my back there we go so <coughs> sorry um this is a big thing for me i mean it's probably the longest time i'm gonna be spending down south um because obviously do because we have so many animals um and well, really we need someone to feed them it's only a couple days and we get we ask our next door neighbor to come in just slide a couple Balls of food, so the cat and the dog, or oh, don't know, little dog in here at the moment, and um, pass some food to the guinea pigs uh, a couple times a day. And we just fill the other animals with food, leave them be. Um, for example, I'll just pour a bunch of food in my hamster and rat. Oh man, hamster and rat. I just thought, my hamster and rat are upstairs. I don't expect that Amy's gonna be coming upstairs to dump a load of food in my rat's cage. Huh. I may just have to like buy a couple bags of food and just like open the bag and just put the bag inside each cage. Um, you know, let them deal with it. See what, see what's left afterwards. Um, uh, just, you know. I mean, they like they do they do like save food. They will carry food and just dump it in places where they think it'll be safe. Um, I actually need to. I'm actually going to give my rat a cute little clean out today because uh, it's a bit dirty. So I'm going to give him a clean out. Uh, but yeah, this is the biggest trip. Twenty four minutes. I've rambled on for 24 minutes. Sure, okay, well, uh, 24 minutes, I guess. 20 seconds? Oh. Oh. Well, have fun, bye. Okay, where's the exit button? Oh god, what have I done? Only joking, I know how to end a video. Bye.